The black hole Cygnus X1 is the first black hole to be directly observed and confirmed by astronomers. Cygnus X1 is located about 6,070 light years from Earth. This distance is measured based on distance calculations using the parallax trigonometry method, in which astronomers measure the change in the star's relative position as the Earth moves around the Sun. This significant distance indicates that Cygnus X1 is quite far from our solar system. Cygnus X1 is located within the constellation Cygnus, which is one of the largest constellations in the sky. The history of the discovery of the black hole Cygnus X1 began in 1964, when an American radio astronomer named Charles Thomas Bolton identified a strong radio source in the constellation Cygnus. This radio source is named Cygnus X1, where X1 indicates that it is the first radio source discovered in the constellation Cygnus. At first, the true nature of Cygnus X1 was a mystery. However, in 1971, renowned scientist Stephen Hawking, along with Robert Oppenheimer and Hartland Snyder, proposed that Cygnus X1 might be a black hole that formed from a supernova explosion. They noticed that Cygnus X1 is a binary star consisting of massive stars and invisible objects that have enormous masses and generate strong gravitational forces. In 1972, Stephen Hawking teamed up with Robert Lightman, Douglas Erdley, and David Payne. They used the data collected by the Owens Valley Observatory to perform spectral analysis and careful mathematical calculations. Through this research, they concluded that Cygnus X1 is a strong candidate for a black hole. Cygnus X1's black hole is believed to have formed through the evolutionary process of a massive star. The formation of this black hole occurs when a very massive star experiences a supernova explosion. This star likely has a mass of about 40 times that of the Sun. When the star runs out of fuel, the remaining stellar core collapses under the intense gravity. This process produces a singularity, which is the point of infinite density at the center of the black hole. Roughly speaking, the mass of Cygnus X1's black hole is estimated to be about 15 to 20 times the mass of the Sun. One of the main characteristics of the Cygnus X1 black hole is that it is a binary system. This binary system consists of a dominant black hole and a smaller companion star. This companion star may be a massive star that is still active. This star likely has a mass of about 15 times that of the Sun, with a radius of about 20 times that of the Sun. These binary systems orbit each other at a distance of about 0.2 astronomical unit with an orbital period of about 5.6 days. Due to its close proximity, the companion star is caught in the black hole's gravitational pull and orbits around it. One of the interesting phenomena associated with the Cygnus X1 black hole is the accretion disk. When a companion star approaches the black hole, matter from that star can fall into the black hole through the hot disk that surrounds the black hole. The material in this accretion disk is heated to extremes by the interaction of gravity and friction. This accretion disk generates a great deal of energy, including intense X-ray radiation. The X-ray radiation emitted from the black hole Cygnus X1 comes from an accretion disk that is located around the black hole. When matter falls into a black hole, the gravitational potential energy is converted into kinetic energy and heat. The high temperature in this accretion disk causes the emission of intense X-ray radiation. This radiation comes from matter heated to a temperature of millions of degrees Celsius, producing photons of X-rays. During research being conducted to prove that Cygnus X1 was a black hole, Stephen Hawking and Kip Thorne made a bet in 1975. Stephen Hawking lost the bet due to the overwhelming amount of observational evidence supporting the existence of black holes. He paid the bet, namely a year's subscription to Kip's penthouse magazine which made Kip's wife angry because of that.